Hello guys, welcome to the fifth uh, video on uh, creating a simple website part of the uh, final project of XHTML and CSS chapter. Now let's uh, continue with our uh, static website. We have, we have created the links for the different pages. Uh, what I'm going to do now is to uh, put the logo in. Okay, I'm going to put it in here and let's take this thing wrap it out so let's go to notepad and uh, here it is so let me check okay so in here uh, where is it wrapper let's take this out and um, okay inside the header let's create a div ID let's call it a uh, logo and close div and here let's create a uh, IMG SRC equals and here let me type images and we have to go to the images and grab this here okay uh, logo.png. Remember that all the easy images that we are using, you have them available to download in the um, in the RAR file at the end of the chapter. Okay, so download it first, and then use the images, put them in there, in your in your folder of the project, so you can grab the images to the project. And um, the next thing you're going to do is type images and the name of the file which is let me check logo.png so logo.png okay and let me just check here refresh uh, okay uh, a big problem because it's too big so we have we have to give it a width here and a height so the width 200 pixels let me save this let's take the height out we will not need the height I think this will manage okay there it is uh, but now we have a problem as you see we have put the uh, logo here um, the links are out they're they're not here anymore so we have to arrange that so let's open uh, CSS push a little bit the logo more to the um, to the left so what we have to do is grab the logo which is in header and in logo okay and obviously here we have to type as well EMG okay to grab the image so now let's push it a little bit more to the left side or let's type margin top it's going to be a little bit uh, down no 20 okay 20 is okay uh, and now margin let's type from the left and now you'll see that if we we have the logo centered in the middle of the page and, and if we want to push in a little push it a little bit to the to the left we need to put negative numbers okay so let's type 100 minus 100 um, pixels okay uh, that doesn't work so 300 I think 300 is okay let's see 350 okay that's enough so we have now the logo here and um, down here let's um, let's see if we can recover the links so the links are up here where are they here okay 
Um, then I have margin top. Okay, so let's see. Minus 80. Yeah, there, are. there they are. Um, minus 70, minus uh, 40, minus 50. Okay. Um, perfect. So there it is. We now have um, we now have the logo. Oops, sorry. We now have the logo and the um, the links. Let's grab all this before we lose all this information. Copy this. Let's go to the style.css and uh, just write after body paste all that save okay let's turn back and there it is okay so now we have the logo and uh, the links in here and uh, now we're gonna create some um, a table with three different uh, boxes in here which is going to be pretty cool for to give some information about the page or the um, the company um, now let's go in here and we have to create the table okay so in the main page or in the main div or better uh, just right after the main uh, div I'm gonna paste a table that I, I uh, already have created. Okay, I'm gonna paste it here. Okay, this is the table. I want you guys to copy this. Okay, create the table exactly as I have here. Um, this is. These are a uh, few um, things that I type just rubberish. Uh, you can type whatever you want. Okay. And uh, at the end of each um, table data TD, I have created a link, okay, with the with something saying more, more. So it's something that will make sense ju in just a second. I'm going to show you in the page what this all represents. Uh, then I have a, um, a link to the index about and contact, okay. Just make sure you copy copy this as I have here this table. Uh, I'm gonna save this, give it a cell padding of 40, table 1, and now if you go to the page, probably, yes, this is what you'll get, okay? So we, sti we still don't have the boxes, okay, uh, uh, or and the borders and all that, but we already have the text, and if I click here, come to the prince to the main page, if I click here, I should go to the about page but we still don't have created we still haven't created the about and the contact page so um, I will create that in the next video and uh, let's just uh, create the boxes in here with some shadow effects um, so let me go to just go here open the CSS down here going to type um, the name of the table which was table 1 the ID is table 1 so let's type uh, I think it was inside the wrapper yes so we had type wrapper and table 1 And table one will have a width of s a width of 700 pixels and a height of uh, 250 pixels. And um, let's type table layout fixed and this means that the table will not um, even if we change the cells uh, or the sizes of the cells um, width and height uh, the table layout will be always uh, the same okay so it will not change 
uh, even if we change the size of the um, of each cell so table layout and here let's type margin left uh, well we don't need this for now let's type just um, let's refresh let's see how this is going well nothing happens uh, let's type also now table sorry wrapper table one and td okay and in here let's type uh, well we don't need the text align let's type background d8 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 okay uh, the font size can be 14 pixels um, padding 5 pixels and I think that's it now I'm gonna give um, border radius uh, 10 pixels and this what we'll do is uh, awesome rounded corners okay as you can see here uh, I'm gonna give a padding of uh, 10 pixels okay uh, as you can see awesome rounded corners that you have here and um, to work either for Internet Explorer 9 and uh, also to work for Firefox we need to um, type this um, uh, minus Moz border. This is Moz uh, stands for Mozilla, and this is uh, what you have to uh, type in order to work in Firefox. Um, let's type radius. It's the same thing. Just have to type a prefix of Moz. Okay. Um, so that's basically it um, let me type here uh, the shadow okay I'm gonna put the shadows now shadows work basically as the um, as the corners so let's type box and now shadow and to put a shadow over the boxes let's type 0 pixels 0 pixels uh, 10 pixels and the fourth is um, the color okay um, okay as you can see pretty awesome uh, feature here uh, a cool shadow uh, rounding uh, wrapping all the the box now in here um, to work in Mozilla you have to do the same thing but type the prefix moz um, border sorry um, shadow but before shadow is box so moz box shadow and now you type pretty much the same thing you can still you can even uh, copy this put it here and that's it and also um, let's type uh, here webkit and webkit is for to work on chrome shadow and now here okay so with all this um, either the corners or the shadows should work for uh, Internet Explorer, Firefox and Chrome. I forgot to put here um, the WebKit for Chrome, okay? So this should work for uh, Internet Explorer, this is for Firefox and now this is for uh, WebKit uh, Radius uh, 10 pixels okay usually 
using border radius uh, will work already for Chrome but you can put the WebKit if you want to okay um, so that's it um, I think we are done here let me just check let's grab all this again and the table these two okay so grab it grab this copy it let's put this on uh, the style.css and here at the bottom paste it save it and we are done awesome okay so we will continue with more in the next video so um, see you guys later bye